What's up YouTube? This is Kyle24 back at your screens with another fantastic tech video and today I bring you another video on cameras. Specifically this little bad boy. This is the Canon EOS M50 Mark II. Yes, I got myself a Canon M50 Mark II because, well, let's just face it, it's a great little camera. Now I had the Canon M50, traded that in, got myself a Mark II and there are a couple of reasons why I got that. Now, now you might be thinking, dude, what are those reasons? They're practically the same thing. Why would you want to trade one in just to get exactly the same thing. Well, there are a couple of reasons actually. There are a couple of very valid reasons why I personally got it. Now I'm gonna go through exactly those reasons with you as soon as we finish this little intro. So yes, you're right. The Canon M50 and the M50 Mark II are practically the same camera. Now there was initially quite a lot of hype over the M50 Mark II, thinking that there was gonna be significant hardware upgrades to it. You know, maybe it would now be capable of shooting log. Maybe it would have these other features. It didn't have any of those. It was it's pretty much the same thing. It's, it's just got the Mark II added to it. Now, I don't know what Canon was doing or what Canon was thinking. However, they did add a certain few things to the camera that did make it different and that did make it potentially, potentially worthwhile getting. Now, if you've already got a Canon M50 and you don't have the reasons that I mentioned in this video to justify getting the Canon M50 Mark II, then don't get it because it's, it's absolutely not worth the change. They are practically the same camera and they produce the same quality video. They produce the same quality photos. They are exactly the same, more or less. So there is absolutely no point in my opinion upgrading from the M50 to the M50 Mark II unless you have these very specific reasons to upgrade. And that's what I'm gonna go through. Now, the first very specific reason is filming in vertical. Now, hear me out. If you're somebody who films a lot of, say, TikToks, a lot of Reels, a lot of YouTube Shorts, and that's your main kind of content creation focus, then having a camera like the Canon M50 Mark II is fantastic because when you pop it in vertical mode, the video that is outputted comes out in vertical. Now you might be saying, oh, well, you know, if you film anything with any camera in vertical mode, you can then just kind of rotate it to make it vertical when you're kind of editing it afterwards. And that is absolutely true, 100%. You can make any camera a vertical camera by filming in vertical mode and then rotating it and Bob's your uncle, you get your vertical photo. You get your 1080 by 1920 photo, which is perfect for real shorts, TikTok, whatever it is you're gonna be using it for. However, just for the sake of being lazy, just for that sake of being lazy, if you are lazy enough that you don't wanna be doing that every single time, if you're making multiple videos and you somehow forget to rotate that video or somehow something happens or one of the, you know, it's just a mess. Just to make things easier for yourself. If you wanna film, in vertical, have that video outputted as vertical, and then just slap it into your video editor, and there you go, it's already in vertical mode. You don't have to do anything about it. That's one of the big eases of having a camera like this. The Sony ZV-E10, which I did a review on earlier on, does exactly the same thing. You can film in vertical, it stays in vertical. And that's basically aimed at content creators nowadays, because that's the way social media is kind of going towards short form media in the form of that vertical media, which is easy to view on your mobile phones. Let's face it, reels, TikToks, shorts, they're all for people who consume a lot of media on their phone, and that's why you have that vertical format. So, if you wanna film in vertical, keep the footage in vertical, edit it in vertical without having to do the whole rotate nonsense in post-production, then this is one of the reasons, very specific reasons, that you might wanna get this. Now, reason number two is if you are a streamer or you're gonna be using this camera for live streaming. Now, one of the big downsides that I found about the Canon M50 was its capability to put out clean HDMI as well as have unlimited runtime and autofocus. So, I did a whole video tutorial on how to use the Canon M50 as a streaming camera, how to get clean HDMI out of, out of it. It's a big workaround, how to get that clean HDMI, how to get that unlimited runtime so the camera doesn't shut down on you because the M50 did that, it would shut down on you after half an hour, whether you were using it or not. Now I'm not just talking about that 30 minute record timer, I'm talking about that whole camera shutting down and cutting the feed. So if you had that plugged into a HDMI cable and you were up, outputting it through a capture card, within 30 minutes, 
the camera will shut down, your feed will end, and your stream will be ruined. There is a workaround to it. I did an entire tutorial on how to use the Canon M50 as a streaming camera. Links up here, so make sure you go check that out if you've got the M50 and want to use it for streaming, and it works perfectly well. However, the one downside is you don't get autofocus. Now, if you want to avoid all of that mess and just want to use your camera, the same camera that you're using for all of your other content creator for streaming as well, you want to pop it onto your tripod or whatever mount that you've got, plug in a HDMI cable, plug in the dummy battery, and that's it. Plug in your capture card and that's it. You've got your unlimited runtime, you've got your clean HDMI, and this is the camera for you. Because just like the M200, just like the Canon M200, which came out after the Canon M50, and is a lot more kind of streamer friendly, the Canon M50 Mark II has the same kind of capability of outputting clean HDMI with unlimited runtime, as well as giving you autofocus, which is a massive bonus, which basically means that you don't have to worry about your focus shifting and you know your face becoming blurry midstream if you're moving a bit too far. This has great autofocus. You can utilize that autofocus live in your stream. So that's another very specific reason. If you're a streamer or if you do a lot of live streaming or if you wanna just use your content creation camera as a webcam for whatever else other reasons, such as you know, Zoom meetings or Teams meetings or whatever it is, then the Canon M50 Mark II is basically a good option because it does all of those things and it does it much easier than the Canon M50. Now, the third reason that you might wanna get the Canon M50 Mark II is because slight changes to the UI basically make it a lot more friendly for content creators to use. Now, if you are a content creator and you're filming yourself a lot, then you're gonna be having that flip out screen turned around and face towards you so that you've got that screen, you're looking at the screen, you're looking at yourself in the screen, so you're able to see whether you're in focus, whether everything, the lighting and everything is good or not. But it also gives you a little bit more. That display now adds a few extra features. One of those being mic monitoring. Previously, the Canon M50 did not have the mic monitoring appear on the screen itself while you were recording. You'd have to kind of go into a separate screen to see if the audio levels were okay or not. Right now, with the Canon M50 Mark II, you can see that right on the screen. So as you're talking, you can see those audio levels kind of jumping to see whether you're kind of peaking your audio or not, whether the audio levels are good or whether, you know, whether it's too quiet or too loud, you can see that right on the screen. Now, another cool feature that they've added on the screen is a record button right on the screen. You get that red dot that you can press right on the screen. Now it's a lot more handy than trying to find that little small, tiny record button at the top. Now, generally I tend to set the main kind of shutter button to record when I full press it in video mode. However, if you wanna even avoid that and just make it a lot simpler, then you've got that record button in video mode right on the screen. So when you've got it all set up in front of you there to record yourself, you just tap on the screen and it starts recording. So the UI is a little bit more user-friendly for content creators, especially if you're gonna be using it a lot to film yourself, to vlog, to film your YouTube videos just like I am, then you're definitely gonna make good use out of those additional features that appear on that display. The display itself is, is exactly the same. The user interface is exactly the same. Now these slight new features make all the difference when you're creating content and just improve your workflow so much more. Cause say you've got your mic plugged in, you're talking and your mic isn't even turned on. Now, you'd be able to tell from the audio levels showing up on your camera whether the mic is turned on or not because that audio mic monitoring would be going up and down. If you didn't have that and you filmed an entire video with no audio, you go into post-production, ready to edit it, and then there's no sound. You'd have to redo the whole thing again. So just small things like that make it so that the Canon M50 Mark II is slightly a better deal to get if you're gonna be making a lot of content. So those are my top three reasons as to why you should get a Canon M50 Mark II if you're just a simple content creator who's happy, absolutely happy with the camera that they've got and already have an M50, stick with it. But if you don't have a camera already and you're just kind of using your phone or something else um, or, or, or an older model camera so far and you want to get a mirrorless, you wanna get a fancy new camera, then definitely the Canon M50 is my recommended camera of choice. It's definitely the best content creation camera out there right now. I said that the ZV-10 was a good competitor. However, I still think that the Canon M50 is a solid choice for any new content creator looking to get a camera because it's just so nice and easy to use. It has very simple features um, and it's just got everything you need for content creation. So it's, 
it's, it's there, it's good. And that's all I'm gonna talk about guys today. Now, if you are already looking to get a Canon M50 Mark II and you needed a justifiable reason to get one, those three very specific reasons could be the deciding factor for you. So if they were, then let me know in the comments down below. Or if you prefer a different camera to the Canon M50 Mark II and you think that there is a, there is an alternative that's just as good, that's not the ZV-E10 or not the M50, first version mark one then do let me know in the comments below and i'd be more than happy to kind of have a discussion about that because i'm all for testing and trying new cameras so i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and if you want to know when my new videos are coming out then do hit that notification bell because i do post quite regularly and you don't want to miss any of my videos because let's face it my videos are awesome until next time guys this is kai24 signing out